Hi there, my name is Zach, and I'm going to introduce you to Isotopolis, the game about nuclear science. Let me take you to the credits so you can see why this game exists. I work at the National Superconducting Cyclotron Laboratory at Michigan State University. Woo, it's a mouthful. NSCL is what we like to call it, and we happen to be one of the best rare isotope research laboratories in the world, right in the middle of MSU. Also at MSU is the Games for Entertainment and Learning Laboratory, or Gel Lab. They're the developers. They got a lot of great game developers, and when I met them, they said, hey, we make games, you do nuclear science, let's put them together, right? Two great tastes. Makes a lot of sense. And I couldn't resist, so here we are. Now, it took a lot of funding. NSCL provided some of that. Also, the American Physical Society, the National Science Foundation, Joint Institute for Nuclear Astrophysics, and all these MSU offices that you see here. We put all our resources together, and we made an awesome game. So, the game is about nuclear science. Like I said, what we have here is a model nucleus just hanging out. It has orangish protons and blue neutrons. That's what a real nucleus is made of anyway. So this is what we're going to study. And the game is really about discovery. So for basically what you're looking at here is a giant grid. That's kind of the game board. And if you zoom out, there's a little you know zoom out button over here, a little magnifying glass. You can see it's a crazy big grid of squares. And what we call this grid in nuclear science is the chart of the nuclides, which, I mean, if you've seen the periodic table, that's just a, you know, a list of all the different elements that we know. The chart of nuclides is, shows all the different kinds of nuclei that we know. So it's not just elements, it's all the different kinds. And in each of these boxes is a different kind of nucleus. Well, the box that we're looking at here, you can zoom in a little bit. The box we're looking at here, you can see there's a nucleus in there. I'll take you closer by clicking the little plus zoom in button. And it tells you what it is. Helium-6. That's what this is. It's got orange protons, blue neutrons. It's kind of shaky. You can probably see that. Look at this thing. It's shaking like crazy. Because it's an unstable, radioactive nucleus. Now, the number of protons, two, it's right there, two protons, that tells you that it's helium. That's what makes it the element helium. The number of neutrons, four plus two equals six, that's the isotope of helium. What kind of helium? So that's all isotopes are, is just a version of an element. That's what it is. So helium-6 happens to be unstable and radioactive. That's the kind of stuff that we're interested in at NSCL. That's our business. You want to know how long it lasts. It's radioactive. The half-life tells you less than a second. It's really not very long-lived. You'll never find it on Earth because, you know, it decays within less than a second. Generally, it comes apart and shoots something out, particle energy. And, of course, that's very different from the nuclei that you're sitting next to and in your body and you're breathing. All these nuclei are generally stable and not radioactive. And if you want to study the radioactive kinds, the isotopes, you got to make them yourself. That's what this game is about, because that's what we do at NSCL, make and study rare radioactive isotopes. So the game is going to take us through the steps, the kinds of steps anyway, that NSCL really uses to make a nucleus that you won't find on Earth. That's our business. And at the bottom right here, you got this little play button. Let's play Helium-6. The first step is called ionization. An atom, of course, has a nucleus and electrons. That's what's out here, these guys. The electrons are orbiting. We want to knock them off. It's called ionization. If you can take them off, then you can accelerate the nucleus. Of course, you got to hit them. That's the game, right? Oh, I got it. So now that the electrons are removed, we're going to accelerate this nucleus down this pipe and to steer basically you'll tap on the sides of the screen and you're trying to steer your nucleus through the green gates that's what's going to do the acceleration if you miss a green gate 
it's going to slow you down. You see that? So you really want to steer through the green gates. You need to go fast with your nucleus because we are going to smash it. It's got to hit pretty hard. So if you want to make a rare radioactive isotope, go fast. That's what we're doing, which is what NSCL does. So now we're flying through this field of other nuclei and we're going to break this one. In the first part of this phase, this basically is just power ups. You can see these kind of cube things. If you manage to go through a cube, you get a power up, gets you more points. It's kind of nice. You don't have to though, but it's not really until the second half of this now when everything kind of clears. Now we really need to hit this one into one of the others you see. Boom. I hit it. I broke it apart. Protons and neutrons are flying. In the last part, what you get to do is actually assemble the nucleus you're trying to make. Helium-6, in this case. Let me tell you something. At our lab, we do not have the luxury of actually putting together whatever isotope we want at the time. But this is a game, so you get to do whatever you need. Now, if you tap on one of these little protons or neutrons and you pull back, you see this arrow, right? It's like a slingshot. I'm kind of pulling it back and the arrow helps me aim and I can shoot it at that nucleus in the middle. It's kind of a pie chart. The orange area I just filled up. Basically, this says now the pie chart is full. I've got enough protons, but the blue neutrons, I'm still kind of missing some of that section. So I'm going to slingshot a couple of those in there too. Now I've put together enough to make helium-6. Awesome. They even tell you what you made. You can admire your handiwork here. If you click the big check mark, that'll take you out of the screen and into the scoring, which shows you basically the four different phases. There is ionization, acceleration, collision, and assembly. And this is the total score in the middle, but you can tap on any one of the phases to see how well you did, what you did well or not well. And, you know, it's, uh, I didn't do so well in the last one. But, hey, it's a tutorial. So, if you tap on the total score there, it takes you back to the big chart. Okay, good job. I made Helium 6. Now, this is the way the game really works. It's a discovery game, right? We make nuclei that don't exist on Earth. But we also discover entirely new ones. Isotopes that nobody's ever seen before. If you look just above my helium-6 there, you see a little box. It's just a little shaded in. That is the next level of the game. It is the next undiscovered isotope. And by discovering, you know, helium-6, now I can move on to that level. It's unlocked. Now, if I want to kind of look in at it, and there you go, undiscovered. So I can play this one too, the big play button. And we go through the same stages, only they're going to get harder as we go up. There are now three electrons to hit. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, I'm getting good at this. So I've ionized it. The, the nucleus is ready to accelerate. It goes down this pipe. I'm tapping on the sides of the screen to kind of steer it around the pipe into those green gates so I can accelerate. Make it go really fast. Hit really hard. That is the goal of this game. But it's true in nuclear science, right? You got to break the nucleus to make isotopes you will not find on Earth. And I mean, we at the laboratory get nearly to this half the speed of light. You know, we hit things pretty hard. Now, let's go into the crashing. Like I said, there's these power-ups in the first part. You can try to hit something, hit one of these. Boy, that's really hard to see. So these cubes. It does some, ooh, there was a little speed boost there. That was fun. Let's see if I can get this one. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to hit this nucleus. Boom! We call it fragmentation. Game calls it collision. And now I'm going to put these particles together. Let me show you a couple of tricks about this. If you hit one, a particle into another one instead of the nucleus, you can actually make new things. Oop, see, look at this. Helium. Let's get this out of the way. I can take the helium and put it in. It has two protons, two neutrons. All comes together at once. That's actually faster. And now I've made lithium-7. Three protons, 
Four neutrons. Excellent. Let's go back to the score screen. See how we did. We're not trying very hard. But what's really interesting now is that after I get this score, I believe it's going to give me an upgrade. I can actually improve my game. There are some of these upgrades that are just for fun. You can change the color to red. So if you want to shoot your beam at the electrons to knock them off, you can make it a red beam. Awesome. You can add more time, give yourself more time to knock those electrons off when you're ionizing. Or when you're accelerating, you can make those green gates a little bigger so they're easier to go through. Sure. So you can pick ones that just make it pretty. You can pick ones that make it easier to play the game. There are some that make it harder to play the game, but give you a higher score. So you can choose. There's a lot of options. I will choose this upgrade. And it's going to take me to the upgrade page. And you can see this one I've earned. I can turn it on. There you go. Now it's active. They have to be active in blue to work. So if you ever want to see what modifiers, that's what they call them, really, what modifiers you have, that's this little three lines thing over here. And you go in and you can see, do I have any modifiers in the ionization? No, but I do have them in acceleration and it's turned on. There you go. So here's the deal. I made lithium seven. Now, this is new, you can see that. Next to lithium seven, there's a new, unlocked, undiscovered isotope, ready for me to play. That's the next level. There are many, many, many levels. Our laboratory and all the other labs on Earth, so far we have discovered over 3,000 different isotopes. So this will keep you busy if you're interested. I'm gonna take you back to the menu that's this little atom icon at the top right. And now I've finished 0.09% of the game. Excellent. Maybe you can beat that. So here's the deal. We made this game because we want you to know more about nuclear science, know more about what we do at Michigan State in NSCL. I hope you try this game out for yourself. It is free on iOS and Android devices. You can also play it through a browser. And if you want to learn more about this game or the laboratory, watch videos, kind of see a virtual tour of our laboratory, that kind of thing. All this stuff is collected at nscl.msu.edu slash public slash learning. I hope you'll check it out and thanks for coming along with me.